Hi, I'm Jaehyun. And I'm Yubin, coming from HOD Talk Show. Hey, Jaehyun. I heard that our topic for today's talk is the connection between the female suppression and Conrad's use of disembodiment in Heart of Darkness. Am I correct? Yeah, you are right, Yubin. But how are you going to connect those? I thought you'd be like that, Jaehyun, so I prepared something. What? The three top list of modern female suppression. Wow, let's have a look. The first one is catcalling, second abortion, and third prostitution. But I never knew that those were such problems. Oh, you might not know it because you're a guy. I'll show you a video. I want a diamond ring, I want some bracelets and everything. Cat calling is an all American pastime. Hey, it's my sweetheart. You're looking good, baby. Good enough to eat. I remember songs from the 50s and 60s that I've seen uh, uh, archived, uh, you know, standing on the corner, watching all the girls go by. The girl can't help it. The girl can't help it. She won't fall. Street harassment is about ownership. It's about the idea that women's bodies and very presence in public space is not for us because what are we there for if not to shake that ass, baby? Shake it, honey! Yeah! And I often think men aren't aware of how different it is for women to walk down the streets. I know the way I dress is kind of provocative, but it doesn't mean that I should have to deal with it. Do I think women should be um, judged or harassed based on what they wear? Absolutely not. To me, that's a slippery slope that leads to the argument that girls who wear short skirts are asking for it. I really admire the women that respond back on the street. Go to hell it's a taking back of the power in the moment. I wish more girls would come out of their shell and just tell somebody to shut the fuck up. Just do it, you'll feel way better. Street harassment is almost like a gateway drug to other more serious forms of violence. The idea that women don't control their own bodies on the street is so connected to the culture that allows women to be sexually assaulted. Do people still tend to do it? Yeah, I often saw boys saying, Oh, look at her butt on the street watching a pretty girl. Ah, uh, I feel so sorry for the girl. It feels horrible getting the cat calls. When I was only 13 years old, a junior boy on the street yelled, Nice butt, to me. I immediately froze. I couldn't do anything but just run towards to seek my mama. I cried that night. It was shameful. I was harassed. Oh, I'm so sorry you've been... <laughs> but it was a long time ago. I'll just move on. Oh, I just thought of a quotation that perfectly matches your experience. What is it? It's from Heart of Darkness, page 46, and it goes like this. But suddenly, as we struggled round the bend, there would be a glimpse of rush walls, of picked grass roofs, a burst of yells, a wail of black limbs, a mass of hands clapping, of feet stamping, of bodies swaying, of ice rolling under the droop of heavy and motionless foliage. How is it related to me? I don't get it. It is very similar to your situation. The sentence is describing a person but like an object. Oh right. When I, I when the junior boy cat called me, I felt like I was an object too. See, but it's part of your body. And they never called you like a human. It's the same here. The court talks about the Parts of body such as eyes, feet, and hands, but never uses words such as human or person. All right. Let's move on. Ah, did you know that abortion is illegal in Korea? No, is it illegal in Korea? Yeah, and according to the research done by DESA, except for the orange and red countries, Abortion is illegal.
The court's decision got many South Koreans wondering what made the authorities suddenly care about the issue after decades of turning a blind eye to abortion. Many people speculated the reason for cracking down was due to the country's low birth rate. The UN says South Korea has the fourth lowest birth rate in the world. This user wrote referring to the government. They want to stick to their old slogan, population is national power, and make people give birth regardless of their marital status. Many women condemned the decision as disregarding their right to self-determination and control over their own bodies. They said it was a harsh decision, especially for unmarried Korean women who would suffer from social stigma and a lack of social safety net. This Twitter user wrote, Women's bodies are not factories or conveyor belts to produce children when the government orders them. This user listed practical problems that make women consider abortion. When unmarried women faces an unwanted pregnancy, people will simply say, don't have abortion, deliver our children, and give it up for adoption. How come these people don't realize all sorts of problems unmarried women will face? The social discrimination, prejudice, and accusations that they are a cold-blooded mother who abandoned their own children, and what about their jobs during pregnancy and financial issues? This user lamented Korean society's patriarchal nature. The most ridiculous part in this debate is that there are so many people voicing out their opinion louder than those women who have, could have, would have been pregnant. South Korea banned abortion in 1953, but according to official data, more than 340,000 women had abortions last year. Almost all were illegal. I'm Yoon Lee for Link Asia. Wow, there are many countries. I know. About half of the world doesn't let women to have the control for her own body. Does this make sense? Like, is the government gonna support for everything the pregnant woman will need to take care of the baby after she gave birth? No, right. Then why does a woman has her like why doesn't woman has a right to choose her future? I really can't understand. Right, it's just like oh, she had to be out of it from page sixty-three. <laughs> you know what, Jan? You just had to be really random. What? No. The sentence before this is we must help them to stay up that beautiful world of their own, lest our gets worse. Which means that it, in the quotation, indicates for a beautiful world, which makes the sentence into she, the woman, had to be out of the beautiful world. Why? And what the beautiful world could be? I would say, freedom, the world of liberty. I feel really angry right now. Why does women dis- uh, why does men decide women's freedom while we, the woman, must have the liberty to choose our uh, choose wherever we want to be and whatever we want to do? If you look closely into the Genesis two in the Bible at verse twenty one, it says, "So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh." Why did you bring up of Genesis? It's to make you comprehensible. Women used to be part of man's body, and it could seem vegetable to some people if they think of the Bible. Well, I get what you mean, but this doesn't mean that woman equals to only some part of the body. Yeah, right. But male's tendency to equal woman to some part of her body must be fixed in the future. <laughs> that was nice, dude. We are running out of time, Yubin. All right. Let's move on to our last topic. Our last topic is prostitution. Some may say that woman wants to become a prostitute and volunteer to sell their body, but this is not really true. According to the study done by Half Go Sky Movement, which is an organization to turn oppressions into opportunity for women, around 89% of people in prostitution do want to escape which indicates that many women in prostitution are working though they don't want to sell their bodies. We pull up at a truck stop and it's like an alley just right on the other side of this fence. Um, we can, he's, he tells us to get out. He tells us what kind of prices we're going to charge and exactly what we're going to do. My friend just kind of, she just kind of looks at me and she's kind of preparing me with her eyes. And then I was just kind of like, I can help you if you help me and maybe he won't kill us tonight. So... Uh, we get out of the car and he informed us we better not come back without any money. We're walking around, there's lots of, there's lots of semis and um, 
there's also a lot of girls out there and a lot of them are just they look like half our age they look like they could be like eight or nine years old um so we go and we're knocking on doors and uh, we just trying to keep smiling just try to pretend that i wanted to be there and maybe i could just convince myself that maybe this will lead to something better and maybe i just maybe i'm seeing it wrong and once we got inside the first the bed of the truck i started to just wish i was dead or something and um, we get in the first truck and the guy decides he wants me so um i go back there and you know i just have to just pray to god just please help me just please let me get through it you know then Melissa went through his wallet. And he had grandkids as old as us. And all I could think about the whole time was how my grandpa could be this guy right now. And how that would feel. And I just wanted to die. Prostitution has been one of the hot worldwide issues for a long time. And if you look at this quote, at page 32 of Heart of Darkness, it says that the hard nigga moaned feebly somewhere nearby, and then first a deep sigh that made me mend my pace away from there. Conrad, the author, called the person hard nigger and used words moan, which usually used for animals. So what? In today's society, men view prostitutes as a tool to settle down their desire. The men who buy prostitutes don't see women as a human, nor they treat women as a human. Hmm, I see. I just hope that women's right becomes equal to the man's right one day soon. So let's sum up and finish today's talk show, Yubin. <laughs> sure. So Conrad used this embodiment in his famous book, Heart of Darkness. We looked at some of the sentences that describe native African people as herd nigger, fits, and eyes, never portraying them as a human, and say that women must be out of man's world. And this, Conrad's writing technique, this embodiment, is still existing in today's world, such in subjects such as prostitution, abortion, and catcalling. This problem that women are viewing as the objects must be fixed in the future. This has been issued and dropped many women into abyss of despair for centuries. Perhaps in the future, brighter days are waiting for today's oppressed women. Thank you.